Hi, I'm Adrian Bowles with RT Insights and Storm Insights. This is our series where we talk to executives in uh, emerging and innovative technology companies about how they address the issues that technology buyers are concerned with today. Bringing in IoT applications or building for IoT applications. Our guest today is Ken Johnson, Senior Director of Product Management at Red Hat. When you're talking to customers, when you're talking to people that are building systems, how are you addressing those issues? What are the, the key things that you want people to know about? Sure, that's a great question, Adrian, thanks. I think I'm glad you said applications to start out, because really that is what IoT should be about. I think in many cases we get distracted by sensors and connectivity and things, and that's certainly a part of it, and they're uh, a necessary source of information that feeds the application, but it really is about the application that's going to deliver business value. Yep. So if you're an organization that's already delivering applications, hopefully you have a a scalable data center or, or cloud infrastructure in place that is modular. And if you don't, it would be a good idea to have that because that's going to serve needs beyond IoT. Um, but if you have that scalable back end, depending on the components you choose, you can extend that back end infrastructure in modular ways to reach beyond the data center out into other tiers of the architecture. How much of a change to that piece of your architecture, your infrastructure, if you will, uh, is it when you start to bring in sensors where the devices are changing? That, that's sort of the hot area and everybody talks about yeah. the edge. And it sounds like you're talking about uh, the gateway as an abstraction that protects you perhaps from those changes. I think it can be. Gateway is a funny category because it's, it's very broad. It ranges from your mobile phone is a gateway. If you mm -hmm. have a uh, you know, fitness tracker, mm -hmm. your mobile phone is the gateway to the cloud. You also have gateways that are, you know, Raspberry Pi could be a gateway. A, a 2U server on a train can be a gateway mm -hmm. where it's aggregating. All these things are, are talking to sensors that are in proximity to them, doing some level of processing, manipulation of data, and communicating ultimately to a back end. So the range of things that can be a gateway is really vast. Okay. I think a lot of people tend to think of them as relatively small constrained devices that can be fielded or put close to the sensors, maybe on a factory floor, on a machine, talking to 10 or 15 sensors you know, close to that device. They could be on a plane, train, automobile, some mobile asset mm -hmm. um, where they're talking to a, sort of a local network of sensors on that or devices on that asset and then processing data and communicating aggregate information back to the back end. It deals with sort of abstracting the sensor and, and device differences. Um, it also deals with network connectivity variations. So if you think of a mobile asset in particular, you may have Wi-Fi at times, you may have 4G at other times, you may not have any connectivity at times. So the gateway can deal with those different network spheres you're in and out of. And sort okay. of buffer data, and when it has connectivity, use the appropriate means of communication to, to translate data back up to the back end. Um, so it really abstracts the back end a bit and gives you some flexibility. It abstracts the devices by providing the means to handle connectivity to a, a variety of devices. And as gateway manufacturers continue to release updates, they can support more different kinds of devices, different protocols, et cetera. Our middleware stack does not specifically um, address all the different kinds of um, device protocols that are out there. And we work with an ecosystem of partners okay. like, like Eurotech, which has a lot of experience on the hardware side, communicating with these different devices and different protocols and actually the hardware chipsets and so forth. Okay. So working with them for sort of expanded device level support, mapping that to a standardized middleware stack has really worked out well to uh, allow the ecosystem of uh, devices to evolve and us to be able to continue to support them and have an interface to them as Eurotech works with those manufacturers to add support for their protocols and so forth. So we bridge that into our standardized stack, have a standardized communication from maybe the gateway tier to the back end. So it really works nicely together as part of a, a joint ecosystem. Okay, great. Well, thanks for watching. And if you'd like more information about how Red Hat handles these issues uh, for IoT, at redhat.com. And for more videos in the series, you can go to rtinsights.com.